racial slavery was a system of total domination. It was, it was one of the few human systems we know in which there is this drive, there is this attempt to totally dominate the, act, the person, where he or she has no particular scope for freedom in any shape or form. So self-emancipation is marinage. That is when the slaves decide to run away from the plantation or from the domestic slavery, from wherever, you know, wherever they are, whatever site they are enslaved, and create communities of their own. So that's one thing. Some masters would send out their slave to work on a different plantation, and he or she would get a dollar, hypothetically, and the 90 cents would go back to the master, and 10 cents would go back to the, to the slave. Uh, because you're not supposed to be paid, but some, if you're jobbing out your slave, sometimes you pay them a, a small portion of what, really minuscule portion of what, you, um, of, of, of what you have been paid. And so what is interesting is that some slaves were able to save enough money to then buy their freedom. So if they were worth $2,000, God knows how they saved, but they saved, they were able to save $2,000 to say, okay, I'm worth $2,000, here's the $2,000, I want, I want my freedom. And then you, sometimes when you do that, you actually are able to buy your wife and your kids and so on. Not very often, but it did, but it actually did, um, did happen. I think that those are the kind of main things about, about self-emancipation. In other words, the, in other words, marinage, or you are able to buy your by your own, um, by your own uh, freedom through a manumission uh, uh, process.